Hello and welcome to our new trip report with Singapore Airlines from Bangkok to Munich in the brand new A350-900. If you travel from Bangkok to Munich with Singapore Airlines, you first have to fly from Bangkok to Singapore in the A330. The check-in process and the boarding was very very efficient and high class like we know it from Singapore Airlines. As you can see, the F330 of Singapore Airlines is configured in the 242 layout, which offers more space to the guests in the economy class. The cabin was very clean and tidy. The leg room is just huge in the economy class and this is why we love Singapore Airlines. As you can see, I'm 185 and I can easily spread my legs and put it below the seat in front of me. The folding table even offered a mirror. Never saw that before. your place you find some brochures, magazines and a duty-free shop of Singapore Airlines. The entertainment system is well designed. It's not the most modern I know, but it's pretty okay for the short haul flight in the A330. German language and movies were available as well as English, Chinese and different other languages. Right after boarding, the staff were handing out hot towels for your refreshment. As the safety equipment on this aircraft may differ from that on other aircraft, please give us your attention as we bring you through this important safety briefing and on a journey through Singapore. We took off on time and there was absolutely no delay in Bangkok. Singapore Airlines in their A330. Can we close the optic off stations? Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seatbelt and draw up your window shades. The cabin lights will be deep. Thank you. Even though the first leg from Bangkok to Singapore is only a one and a half hours flight, you get a full service meal. The 
toilet was clean and equipped with soap and paper towels, as you know it from the economy class. Overall, I would say the Singapore A330 in the economy class is a great option to travel around Asia. The economy service is very high standard and the airplane is well designed, offers a lot of space. So it's definitely a good option. But now let's head to the A350 through the Singapore Changi Airport, which is one of the world's best airports. Terminal transfer was very easy and pretty efficient, so it's no problem to catch your flight even if you have short layovers, because the Singapore Changi Airport is well designed. There it is, the Singapore Airbus A350-900 from Singapore to Munich. The A350-900 is one of the most modern planes on the world. Also here, the boarding was very efficient, quick and hassle-free, with separate entrances for economy class and business class. The crew welcomed me very friendly and it was a pleasure to come aboard. Business class and premium economy class is in the front, standard economy right behind these two cabins. Also in the economy class, there are special seats with more legroom which can be reserved for an extra fee in advance. If you manage to get one of these seats, I would say you have a premium economy class experience for the price of an economy seat. As you can see, my seat offers a lot of legroom and is near to the premium economy class. It is the best seat in the A350-900, believe me. Economy seat is provided a pillow and a blanket right after boarding. The headrest is adjustable and it's not old and worn out, so it really works well to adjust your head. Also, in the normal seed rows, the legroom is really good. When does this happen in the movie? Now, you're looking at the 
foldable table is adjustable and offers also for bigger persons a lot of space. Also in the A350 the same brochures and magazines as in the A330 before. Right after boarding the hot towel again. In-flight Wi-Fi in the A350 of Singapore Airlines is also available but not included in the economy class. Only business and first class passengers getting complimentary Wi-Fi access. The entertainment system is state of the art and offers a big screen in a high resolution. Also in the economy class you get a wide choice of meals in a well designed menu card. <laughs> flight was served right after departure and was really delicious. Some Magnum ice cream was served as dessert. Over the whole flight you were able to order more food like snacks and drinks. Alcoholic drinks and beverage was also included. There was also a small amenity kit with a dental kit and socks. When does this happen in the movie? Now. You're looking at now, sir. Everything that happens now is happening now. What happened to then? Past that. When? Just now. We're at now now. Go back to then. When? Now. Now? Now. I can't. Why? We missed it. When? Just now. About two hours before landing, the breakfast was served, which was okay, but not really my favorite. 
although the quality of the components was really high. All in all, I can only recommend to fly Singapore Airlines, even in their economy class. The service is excellent, the food is good, and the airplane offers a lot of space and legroom. If you book an extra legroom seat like I did, you come close to premium economy feeling what other airlines offers. For me, Singapore Airlines is one of the best airlines in the world and even their economy class is state-of-the-art and one of the best available products. If you book your flight with Singapore Airlines, you will never make a mistake. Try it and enjoy your trip.